free card. Who plays Constription? Whoa, who plays this? No, don't tell me. Whoa, hey, 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 you can't take that. You cannot take Gaia play. That's elite. I'm, di I'm dialing Konami right now. I am dialing Konami right now. Konami? This person's playing Constription in 2019. Bro. What's up everybody, Watta Below 7 here, and welcome back to a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. In today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video, I'm gonna be trying out magnets for the very first time, or more specifically, trying out magnets with the brand new magnet support that came from the previous mini box in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Now, I have been playing magnets since 2017, Duel Links, when Delta the Magnet Warrior first came out in the card trader, but it, like I said, it's gonna be the first time me trying out the new support. We're gonna be trying out some new cards with, like, Super Team Buddy Force Knight with magnets, and I'm gonna be trying out the new magnetic field card for magnets so hope you guys are excited for today's rank pp video of trying out the magnets in rank pp if you guys enjoy your rank pp videos be sure to show your support by smashing the like button on the video down below or if you want more of these be sure to go show your support by smashing that like button on the video down below without further ado though let me go show you guys the first replay that i was able to get a win with this deck and kind of tell you guys my thoughts and opinions on the new support for magnets so far currently we're going against the Satorius. he is at playing master of destiny he's gonna set a card he's gonna set another card and pass his turn next up we're gonna summon into our Gamma Electromagnetic Warrior, and we're going to trigger its effect to summon Delta the Magnet Warrior, and then Delta Magnet Warrior's effect is going to trigger and send Alpha Electromagnetic Warrior to the graveyard. I was kind of iffy if I should have done this or not, because currently I don't have Berserkatron the Magnet Warrior in my hand, so I can't summon into him just yet, even though I have all three pieces of the new Electromagnetic Warriors, but... Luckily, we have this guy called Guy Play the Earth Giant, which this card has been out in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links for actually a very long time now. But if you didn't already, this card you can special summon it by removing from play any two rock monsters in your graveyard during your standby phase. Remove from play one rock monster in your graveyard or send this card to the graveyard. Half the attack and defense of any monster that battles with the card. Super cool card right here, easy to summon into, and you're able to um, basically get rid of like most boss monsters because of its effect, where you can cut the attack in half. Sadly, it's hard to keep around the field because you got to keep banishing your rock monsters, so it kind of like doesn't agree with some of the magnet plays because sometimes you want your magnets in the graveyard so you can trigger certain combos and everything but i really like this guy this guy's like a, he's an og in my heart so we're gonna keep him in the deck because he's pretty cool and he's actually um helped us win the duel so that's cool too Anyways, we're going to go attack. Sadly, we attacked into a BM4 Blast Spider, so this is definitely an indicator that we're going against Desperado Barrel Dragon against Master Destiny. And then it's going to be Satorius' turn. He's going to activate BM4 Blast Spider's effect. I'm going to trigger Super Buddy Team Force Unite, but then he's going to negate it with the Rebirth and basically negate my effect and summon it into his um, Avenging Knights from his extra deck, which is going to be a big problem for me because this card has a couple things. I can, You can change the attack position uh, of my monsters to defense position, and he can inflict piercing battle damage which is obnoxious. Except uh, we're going to trigger our uh, Gamma's effect to special summon into Delta, and we're going to use Delta's effect to pitch in another Gamma to the graveyard. We're going to get attacked by a 1,000 points, and next up we're going to trigger Delta's effects. So I have three magnets in the graveyard. So we're going to summon Valkyrie Valkyri on the Magnet Warrior in that juicy Prismatic. Let's get it. Next up we're going to summon into our Beta Electromagnetic Warrior. We're going to add Alpha Electromagnetic Warrior to the hand, and then we're going to special summon Gaia Plate. We're going to attack with Gaia Plate, and then we're going to attack for game with our uh, Valkyrie on didn't get into Berserkatron, and I know I'm mispronouncing the card's name, but that's what I'm going to call it throughout the entire video. Sorry for not showcasing the deck right away, but let me remember now. Boom, here you go. Here's the deck list. If you want to go to the description down below, I'll also post the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links deep link, so you guys can literally copy and paste this deck if you want to. And yeah, let's go hop into some of the live duels in today's video, and let's see what memes ensue, because you never know what happens in the ranks PvP videos, that's for sure. Let's get into it. First opponent, we're going against somebody called Abstracted, which is a pretty cool name. This person is in Platinum Rank 2, Let's go see what this Azizu has. Please do not have Necro Valley. I don't want to deal with Necro Valley right now. Necro Valley is on the field or done. Like, we're actually done with this deck. It's going to be very difficult to play. Also, sorry for not being too descriptive in the beginning of the video. Um, we're going to keep this hand. This hand's actually pretty good. Um, sorry for not being too descriptive at the beginning of this video, though. But um, hopefully, like, throughout the duel, you guys can kind of understand what's popping and how mags are going to work. So I don't know if I want to, I, I don't know if I wanted to do, a, like, a full breakdown of magnets anyways, because magnets has been around for a little while now, and literally the only new things that we have is magnetic field, which I hope to showcase in today's video, um, and then, of course, that, uh, trap card, which you guys already seen, so... Uh, there's that right there. Anyways, we got a really good opening hand, so we're going to first summon alpha. No, we should have summoned beta. Making misplays already, you know what it is. It is not a Watt 007 video unless I make misplays. Let's be real here. Next up, we're going to activate our Grand Slug Screener. Let's see if we can pitch our cards. There we go. So I believe we cannot summon to you. Oh, that's my that's my luck right there. 
Yeah, we didn't pitch our beta. <sighs> okay, well, what we can do instead, and actually, let's see. So we did pitch a Bacon Saver, which is really nice. And also Magnetic Field, if you didn't know already. If you control a level 4 lower Earth Rock type monster, uh, you can target a level 4 lower Magnet Warrior and a Graveyard and Special Summon it. Um, also, once per turn, at the end of the damage step, when a Earth Rock type monster control battles both monster and it's not destroyed, you can turn it back to the hand. It's a pretty good card. It's uh, pretty cool. But we got some mediocre mills, that's for sure. We did get Bacon in the grave, though. That's actually pretty good. Anyways, let's go swing. Let's go trigger some stuff. Um... Yeah, ooh, oh, counter, counter fairies. Makes sense, actually, but doesn't change the fact that I don't want to go against them. So we got some, like, old school counter fairies going on here, and the counter fairies are going to start going. So now we got to watch out on some negates. Hopefully this guy triggers his negate too early, because we might be able to snag uh, some cheeky, cheeky stuff. Um, cool. So yeah, you can target it and add it to your hand. So I can add some Mag Warriors back to the hand. That's pretty good. I'm gonna summon into that monster right there. That is also kind of obnoxious because, um, if he activates his counter trap, oh snap! And I can't. I don't think I can activate your effect, huh? I wonder why I can't activate the effect. It's because of you. Um, once per turn. I don't know why I cannot trigger my uh, effect. I don't know why they didn't let me do that during opponent's turn. Maybe I don't have any other level 4 mag- I don't- I must not have any other level 4 magnet warriors in my deck, so that's mu that's must be it. Uh, what we will do though, let's activate magnet conversion. Let's add back you, you, and you. We're gonna add back all of these big boys, and then this time let's do the proper play of summoning into- Actually no, we should summon into Gamma and then Delta. But let's see if it gets negated anyways, this probably was a mistake, but oh well. Come on baby, nope we're gonna get counter trapped. Ah oh, man. Uh, I wonder... I don't think it would have mattered. I don't, I don't know if it would have mattered if we summoned Delta or not. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get oofed up right here. Divine Punishment's gonna oof us. And I think we pretty much just lose right here. Because he just negated our combo and that's it. That sucks. Uh, I honest, I legitimately don't know if I could have done anything else. I wouldn't be surprised at all if I misplayed. Well, I guess in a sense, yeah, I kind of did. Because at the beginning of the duel, I didn't summon Gamma first. I summoned Alpha first. I think if we had Gamma on the field also, things would have been a little bit easier. But I don't think it really matters. Oh, wait, no, this guy misplayed. I mean, he probably still has a... He probably still has a... What's it called? A good old, um... Contract ready for us. But... At least we do live this turn. And actually, now thinking about it, let's let's start playing smart for once. Instead of like trying to trigger a summon, I I seriously doubt he's gonna summon into anything big. Actually, we might be able to bait out a summon. How many do we have in the graveyard right now? Okay, so we'll summon into our Gaia and let's banish you and you. I don't know if it really matters. I I really don't know. Uh, we'll do these two for now. Now let's see if you negate this, cause I'm okay if you negate this. Okay. Um, I don't know. And then, okay, you can target it and summon it. And then, let's see, what do we have in here? Ooh. So, we also, we have a Delta ready to go. Um, I'm not too sure. Let's see. Let's just, um, actually. Yeah, let, let, let's do this. Let's activate Magnet Conversion. And then summon you. Now, are you going to negate this Delta? Can you negate it? I am very curious. I don't know if she has any um, other cards. I think we might be good. So let's go pitch you to the graveyard. And then let's go summon into Berserkatron. We're going to banish you. We're going to banish you. And we're going to banish uh, you. And we're going to summon into Berserkatron. And then what we'll do is it'll start triggering his effect. And I think... Okay. Um. Now what do you... Those cards... Set cards cannot be destroyed or targeted by card effects. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of that. Because then you can't activate a lot of your other cards. And that gives us access into... Uh, doing some shenanigans like this. So what we'll do, we will go attack into you. We'll go crash, and then we'll attack into you. Interesting. I'm very curious on what that last uh, back row card is. It could easily be something like Drowning Mirror Force. I really don't know. Fairy Smile is gonna trigger, so you have uh, Herald of Heaven, so you can search for a Sanctuary at the Sky if you want to. Oh baby. Sanctuary Sky is going to activate. Let's see if you have any other uh, combo wombos, Izizu. Let's see. Because you only have one card in your hand, only one back row card. I uh, It might be that reverse uh, Rebirth card that can summon into the Avenging Knight. That might be what this back row is, and that's probably why you couldn't do it. 
I think we're golden since this person's only playing counter traps and if you can't activate your counter trap you're most likely just not able to do it so there's that I still kind of want to play safe though if I'm being honest so yeah we're gonna do that Ooh, we got some in Delta though so it is what it is um, but let's go pitch you and yeah let's go see if we uh, get drowning or not is it drowning mirror force time oh uh, oh I think we're good I think we are good. I am very happy we snagged that win, because honestly, we probably would have lost. I think this guy completely forgot, though, that I had a bacon saver in the graveyard. So while I made some minor misplays in that duel, he made the bigger misplay in this situation. Bacon saver coming in clutch. Let's go, boys. Let's move on to the next duel, because that was a pretty cool duel. Let's see what else pops up in rank PvP and platinum rank. Next! Duel. We're going against Ken. He's in Platinum Rank 7 from the United States. Playing Dark Signer Carly Carmine, so most likely they're going to be going against Fortune Ladies. What is up, Dark Signer Carly Carmine? It is sad that the first thing I think of when I see Dark Signer Carly Carmine is like, yo, what about Misty? Misty Treadwell and Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Oh my god, lol. Um, I kind of want to... Ooh. Honestly, I think we might be able to get by without doing this. Let's not do that. I'd rather draw my second turn anyways. But yeah, no. First thing I think about Dark Signer Carly Carmine, I'm like, ooh, what about Dark Signer Misty Treadwell? Make it happen, Konami. Man, I am just hammering that down all the way, man. I just just keep hammering that down, because you know what it is? It's not a Want the Blow 7 video unless I don't talk about Misty Treadwell, that's for sure. After all, she's on the overlay on the right hand side and the bottom of the screen. And by the way, sellout time. If you guys didn't know already, I actually commissioned somebody to make some brand new Misty Treadwell emotes. So if you guys want to become a YouTube member, you guys can use these Misty Treadwell emotes in my YouTube streams and you guys can join my Discord. And if you join my Discord, you can use those Misty Treadwells um, emotes there. Or actually, I made a whole private uh, Discord for YouTube members only that you can use the new Misty emotes. So sellout time. Can't believe I did that instead video I wasn't expecting to doing that but it is what it is luckily we did not restart though because we actually got a really good hand so what we're gonna do we're gonna go summon into alpha and we're gonna go search out for a berserkatron because we really need berserkatron right now to uh take out this red eyes we're gonna play that grassy greener come on baby come on baby we did not get what we need not like literally not at all uh oh well we got like almost there and shout out to still not showcasing magnetic field in today's video. I'm a good content creator. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it whatsoever. Here's the issue though. Now this person's going to be able to attack into us. And since he's going to be able to attack into us, he's going to be able to equip a card to his monster. And since he's going to be able to equip a card to his red eyes black dragon, um, we won't be able to really destroy him. We'll have to destroy him through battle with Berserkatron. I'm about to just run through battle. Anyways, uh, what we're going to do... Ooh, Buster Blade, that's not cool. Uh, well, we are going to trigger uh, Alpha's effect, and we're going to be summoning into our uh, Delta. Let's summon into our Delta in defense position, and then we're going to trigger Delta's effect to pitch our Beta to the graveyard. And then once we do, then we'll be able to summon it into Berserkatron, and we're literally just going to have to swing into his Red Eyes Black Dragon. No, he's going to equip two. Oh, no. Oh, wait. This works out. We're going to do this instead. Um, so as much as I don't want to do this, we kind of have to. We, we kind of have to. Um, hopefully... Yeah, let's do this, actually, because I think I can use the Magna Trap card, Magna Conversion, to add it back to our hand. So we might be able to do some cheeky stuff. Let's go put this in attack position, though. Because he won't be able to gain enough attack to get over it. Shout out to Valkyrie and coming in clutch. I completely forgot about that option, and that was probably the best thing to do. Next up, we're going to activate our Magna Conversion from our Grave. And we're gonna go bring back one of yous. And I think it summons onto the field. Yerp. And we're gonna trigger its effect. And I think we're gonna chain its effect, yeah. So we're gonna search and pitch. Or search and pitch. And then he's gonna be in our graveyard. So then we can like destroy some stuff, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna do that. And then let's add you. There we go. Look at these wombo combos, baby. Look at these wombo combos. Okay. Now I believe we have enough materials to uh, summon into our Berserkatron. Yes, we do. Now, with specifically, um, a card you control. Okay, so no matter what, we kind of just have to swing and hope for the best. So let's go summon into our Berserkatron. We're going to get rid of the Alpha in our grave, Beta in our grave, and Gamma in our grave. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to go into you. And then next up, we're going to set you. And we're just going to start swinging. We're going we're gonna to start throwing hands. So we're going to get rid of you. You can summon into your Buster Blader. 
That's fine. We don't have to worry about Buster Blader. Red Eyes Slash Shadow Dragon. And then we're going to attack with Berserkatron. And then we're just going to kind of end our turn here. And it's probably good to not attack into his Wyvern because um, if he had his Wyvern in the graveyard, he could summon his Slash Dragon again. Which I guess doesn't really matter if I think about it, but it's still. Would have been annoying to deal with. Would have been annoying nonetheless. Very cool though. What what are you gonna do, Carly? Because you have so many cards in your hand, I'm genuinely surprised you did not set down any of your cards into back row. The only thing that sucks about magnets is the fact that uh, my magna deck and most magna decks out there don't really have any like, yeah, they don't really have any like uh, what's it called like back row to protect yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like we we got the bacon's, I guess if you think about it, we got the eighty changer bacon saver, so we can go for like some lethal plays, but. Other than that, there's like not really much protection that we're running in the deck. Is he switch you into defense fishing though? Yeah, that's about the same, my dude. Uh, I would have been genuinely surprised if you just only summoned into your Buster Blade. I mean, kept that on the field. That's a 400 attacking monster just waiting to get destroyed. I'm also curious, do you have DNA surgery? If you have DNA, ooh, baby! No DNA surgery in this Christian household, Omega lol. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't, uh, doing any shenanigans. Okay. So we lost that right there. Honestly, what would make this perfect is if we top deck into our Gaia. If we top deck into Gaia, or Golden Bacon Saver, not, not what we wanted. Not at all. Uh, how many, uh, do we have in the graveyard, though? So we can do any magnet, it looks like, huh? So let's just do it. Let's just, let's just start swinging. So we're gonna banish you, get rid of you. And we're gonna activate you. We're gonna get rid of a you. Oh baby. We out here pulping cards. And yeah, now let's just go for game right here. Let's go attack with the mighty Valkyrion and get that dub. I'm genuinely surprised we won that. At the same time though, we're going against a Red Eyes deck instead of a Fortune Lady deck. We won against Fortune Ladies. I think that duel could have been a completely different story, but we still got that dub, so. I'll take it right there. Let's go move on to the next duel of today's video. Next duel, we're going against somebody called Chaos Rabbit from Japan. Platinum rank 3. Sarah? Okay, I was not expecting to go against Sarah. I wonder, is, is this a suicide deck? Don't, don't do it. Don't do it, Sarah. Okay, we got 30 card Unga Boonga deck, maybe. No, 36. What is his hand? This hand's crazy. This hand's actually crazy. What the heck? What the heck? This hand is busted, like literally. Well, we're gonna go for that turn one Berserkatron, I guess. You know what it is. And then we're gonna play that. Oh, wait. We can barely mill anything. We're still gonna mill because we gotta get that bacon in the graveyard. Didn't get bacon in the graveyard. Yet again, Magnetic Field's in the graveyard again. Let's go. Not using Magnetic Field one time. Let's go. Would've been nice to showcase in today's video. I mean, I do have one replay. I want to get a Gravekeeper deck that didn't really pop off. Oh no, I lost that duel, never mind. But the deck didn't really pop off too much, but I was able to use Magnet Field and get the Necro Valley player to like some really low amount of life points. But yeah, I still lost, so it doesn't really matter. We'll make a lull. Um, is that it? Two back row, that's actually obnoxious. Three, stop it! That's illegal, you can't play three back row. That is against the rules. I'm gonna dial up Konami right now, and they'll be like, hey bro, you can't play, you can't play that. Not allowed. Not the loud. I wonder if I should pitch both of them. You know what? Let's do it. Let's just pitch all the d deltas. Or I pitch all the alphas and go into delta. Yeah, another Berserkatron is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I should not have done that though. Oh well. Let's banish you, banish you, and banish you. How many magnets do we got? I don't know if we have any magnets to trigger its effect. I don't think it matters though. Because uh, Sarah about to floodgate us. Sarah about to TTH us. Canadia us. Doesn't matter us because I have no... Ah, I made a oopsies. Oopsie time. We made a big oopsie. We didn't have any uh, magnets in the graveyard to trigger our effects. Oh well. Oh, what is this meme? What is this meme? Yeah, you better give me that card. Thank you for the free card. Who plays Conscription? Whoa, who plays this? No, don't tell me. Whoa, hey, 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 you can't take that. You cannot take Gaia play. That's elite. I'm di dialing Konami right now. I am dialing Konami right now. Konami? This person's playing Conscription in 2019. Bro, this is ridiculous. 
This is ridiculous. Uh, we're still gonna swing though. I, I alpha male. What is this deck? Are we playing against 2017 mil? I am like literally flabbergasted. 2017 mil, baby. Who would have thought 2017 mil? Bruh. And we have nothing to get rid of his back row cards. Block dragon. No. No. I want these deltas off my field, please. I don't want the deltas on my field. I need to destroy back row cards. Get deltas go away. No! Don't do it to me. Thank you. Hey, magnet field's in our hand, guys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on, baby. Let's go! 2017 mil. Get out of here. Get out of here, bro. At least, you know what, now thinking about it, it was probably a good thing that they got... Oh, well, no, actually. Yeah, Block Dragon would probably be the worst. No, because it's a special summon only. Yeah, I think we would have been good, like, no matter what card they took from us. Because she wouldn't have been available to summon to the other monsters that we had. She wouldn't be able to summon into this if she used Conscription. Yeah. Because, yeah, I forgot. Gaia, you can patch the summon it, but you also can normal summon it. So, yeah, even if he, even if she, like, top deck Berserkatron or Block Dragon, they wouldn't have been summoned, and the other magnets are super weak. So, it would have been actually good. That's pretty funny right there, though. Let's go check out this Oonga Boonga deck real quick, though. What is this 2017 mill deck doing in my Duel Links of 2019? Bro. What timeline am I in? What timeline am I in? Let's go check out Chaos Rabbit's thing. Disgusting! Golden apples! Ugh. That's the... Oh, icky. Icky. That is just... Ugh. That's horrible. Well, that's gonna be it for today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links Ranked PvP video. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to see more Ranked PvP videos, be sure to show your support by smashing that like button on the video down below. Thank you so much for watching today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so that you guys can get notified when I make more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links content. And be sure to check out some of my previous Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links content on my channel because we've been uploading like crazy as of late, and I really do appreciate that. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. I'm gonna go see you guys in the next YouTube video, and yeah, see you guys later. Peace, peace.